There, let me post the link in chat. And let me just switch to the game for you all. Uh, where is this? Okay. Oh, I did say Ajax didn't qualify? Oops. My bad. Ajax has qualified. It's hard to talk for so long, guys. Casting isn't easy. Okay, oh no, look at the colors, guys. Why would they choose these colors? So, in the top, playing Aeon <coughs> or Ball. Oh, there's a, so many Ball players. Last Chilled. <coughs> and in the bottom, Ajax playing Seraphim as always. Uh, going second air. So, first question. Why choose these colors? That's really annoying. They're almost the same. And yeah, you can see in that link who has qualified. So, Zoc, Petrich, Kieser, Oxide Ion, Next of Reality, Jagged Appliance, Bias, Ajax, Voodoo. And then whoever qualifies from this tournament. So, there's six spots, no, seven spots left. Uh, including the ones that will be got from this tournament. So there's one more qualifier. I wish someone would tell people who or how the last people are going to be decided. Oh, look, there's Zoc in the chat. Maybe Zoc can uh, enlighten people. So, what's the plan for Blast Shield? This doesn't look like a very good build order. Walking extremely fast with his ACU. Ajax, meanwhile, just building away. Can the Hydra with an Engineer and go on second air. Blast Shield has two air factories planned, and he's going to start his land spam over here with his ACU <clears throat> yeah a lot of uh, weird games weird games in this some nice salt from BH and blood here well of course <laughs> <clears throat> so Hydro just finished for blast chilled Adric's a bit behind, but his uh, second air is almost complete. Blast Chill already has a second lamp factory up, and he's going third, fourth air. Well, let's say third air, fourth land, but they're pretty much simultaneous. So he should actually look pretty good on. I'm actually surprised if he has enough mass for this. Yeah, no, he doesn't. This is yeah, this is a mistake. Minus 17 mass at the start of the game this is not what you want. He might as well just leave with his SU, go to mid, take mid, take the Rex, and not stand there wasting his time. Just let Nenji finish it because he can't afford to make those factories. <clears throat> so Ajax adding a second air factory as well. Air is very useful on this map because it's very hard to actually raid the plateaus with anything other than drops pretty much or bombers or gunships stuff like that because the entrance is basically right outside your opponent's base so it's really difficult to get units up there unless you're dropping them so we're gonna see a bigger focus on airplay in this game than we did in the previous one we saw Tokito go for gun and then just died to gestures so I guess that was pretty air focused but uh, only from one player which is why the game ended so fast so what will Ajax do to deal with the Aurora will he go fast T2 land will he make a lot of zooies will he make the gun fast or will he just try to bomb them all with his air 
that's probably why he added two air factories. But Blast Shield is also making two air factories, so we shall see who gets the upper hand. Is there actually a single person who likes Monarchy? I bet Speed 2 does. <laughs> oh, poor Speed. Nobody likes his maps. Well, Surf and Epo is a pretty, pretty nice map. And I think he fixed the jamming thing. And what else did he make? Yeah, anyway. Here's an edge build factory from Blast Chill. That's a good, good idea. I wholly endorse this idea. Edge building factories appears. One of, it's basically the second option to get units up here. You can drop units or just edge build factories. And uh, if only Ajax would kill this engineer, that would be a good move. Looks like Bass Shield got his Rex. Ajax still has a couple to get here. 600 mass sitting waiting for him. Mm, don't see any T2 land, we just see T1. Don't see many Zooies or anything. Just making Thams at the minute. And. Bass Shield just making Aurora. And we don't see any transport. I uh, would like to see a transport. You can get the these mexes much faster, the underwater mexes. Dropping to here or here is definitely a good idea. And dropping your enemies plateau, sure that's that's good as well. Drop here, steal the reclaim, build some factories, maybe build a couple, and just be very annoying. <clears throat> And that's T2 land begun. It's strange to continue building T1 factories when you start T2 land. Probably just want to assist your factory and get the T2 up faster, but I guess more T1 factories doesn't hurt either. You will need to add more power. He's full mass power and doesn't really have the power to spend it. But he has two air factories, so he can use, he can pause and unpause them to balance his air. Here we see a bomber doing a good job. Takes out the NG over here. There's no other NG expanding this way. But it did complete the PD. <clears throat> and Bomber is actually well supported by these Inties, but yeah, oh, if he kills these engineers it would be quite painful. If he kills any PGens whatsoever it would be even more painful. There go the two NGs building power, so Ajax needs to <laughs> remember that his power production has stopped and he needs to replace it. Because that is one thing that can happen, you just win a game, you can just kill some uh, engineers producing power and your en enemy just forgets to replace them and uh, then suddenly you have a power stall and you're kind of fucked. And you're wondering, why am I not building PGENs? So Blast Chill just chilling in mid. Uh, no pun intended. Ajax doing the same. But Ajax has no units in mid. He's sending all units up the left. And also he has far less T1 units thanks to this T1 land upgrade. He does have a PD to help him out though. But Blast Chill is on the move with his T1 army. Has some RDs in there as well. Nice mix. So this PD shouldn't be any trouble for him. This factory did complete. Should get an NG out and get this reclaim, but the raiding Aurora is pretty nice too. Now walking into a PD a bit unnecessarily. He is actually managing to what is that sound? It's the mix. But uh he is actually man he had the correct angle on the PD and he was actually shooting it over the walls. <coughs> it's not too hard to actually shoot a PD with the commander, they're pretty good at it, but uh, you still lose a lot of HP if you're doing it. How much HP do you lose? Well, it takes 13 seconds to kill them, and I'm not sure what a PD's DPS is. Probably like 100 or something, or... No, it's more, in fact. Over 100 DPS, so... It's pretty painful to take out a PD that way. But it can be done if it needs to be done. And these Aurora are getting too close to the Thams. 
But there's enough to support, I think you should win that fight. So, let's see. Air, it looks like Ajax just won air. Last shield had this factory pause for quite a while. Didn't have his... Oh, he's making T2 air. So maybe we see some mercies or something. We have chicken bots out. We have T2 power almost finished. Chicken bots are just sitting in the base, however. Maybe he could drop them. Oh, he's going to drop some T1 units instead. You can hold four Ilshis in a T1 transport. So, abuse that. Four Ilshis in T1 transport is pretty great. That's like, how much mass is that? Like 1400 mass, 1500 mass, something like that. <clears throat> that you can just drop with T1. So, Ajax is, yeah, quite bad that he's actually given up this position because now this position can be raided. He had managed to stop this. See, he can kill Aurora coming out of factories very easily. You just have to make sure you don't actually click on the factory, otherwise you will die to the Aurora that get built. But uh, he cut this out, but it doesn't matter because he let units up here and he's going to lose these mexes. There's a lot of mexes here. Eight mexes to lose. That's a whole lot of mexes. So T2 mex, T2 mex here. Not sure Bla Blast Shield has any T2 mexes. Doesn't look like he does, but he still has the mass advantage thanks to map control. Now, however, the Ilshis are out, and they're gonna do great work versus Aurora. This drop ran into a PD and gave it some vet. <coughs> Top left completely unclaimed somehow, not sure why, but there you go. And bottom right is only being claimed now. Last chill did uh, do a bit of work to try and slow this down. I'm not sure how much Adrix invest invests into stopping this. I guess he did send a lot of units down here. So much reclaim to be taken. This is a really nice field that he should be should be sucking up. So we have T2 land for a long time for uh, for Adrix, and that's T2 land coming up for Blast Chill. Do we have a T2P gen? We don't. We have a few swift winds, and we have one good ship. Let's see, Ajax is getting the gun. No way, getting the gun. It's probably got the gun in every game so far. It's a pretty useful thing to get on a map like this. So he now has to clean up all of this crap, sending Ilshivas up here. You should probably transport them back off because it's going to take them so long to walk back down and get into any other fight. Um, yeah, just a real lack of map control, lack of mexes. And actually, Blast Chill has a lot more reclaim as well. Double reclaim almost. Here we can see the gunship's going to work. This NG is dead. The mexes are going to die as well. Ajax cannot fight this air. Seems to have very few indies. Some Ilshis building up in the base. And T2 land is done. T2 Pigeon is finished. So that uh, imbalance is equalized. Maybe we'll just see him go for T3 land. I think I think he's in a position where he can do that. These bombers are just killing so many Aurora. But it's kind of late to be killing Aurora now. Eight kills, twelve kills. I guess it's never late to kill Aurora. It's always nice to see them go pop. So air control and yet this transport just decides fuck it. I'm just gonna drop here and even if you're right next to my transport, I'm still gonna drop here. So these Ilchivos gonna raid. Do some damage. It's finally regaining this plateau, but uh, this poor gunship had no air support. And now this PD is winning air control. Great job. Not sure how it's hitting the one behind there, but it is somehow. There's one swift wind dead, two swift winds dead. 
and a third swift win is dead and then the reaction so let's just show you how much a swift win costs it costs 200 mass and a PD costs 240 or 250 so that was that was pretty pretty painful so the corner is still denied gunships used to deny this uh, still not sure what was used to deny this again but this tank is still back here this I think this is the ideal place to try raid with the gunships these El Cheval and are just out of position they can't actually do anything here he needs to needs to drop them and I yeah that's T3 land we have a T2 transport I don't think any harbs are made yet control kink factories to get some mass back because the Aurora is not going to be effective anymore that's a good move getting some eco as well looks like he hasn't actually eco there's one T2 max yeah this is actually only one T2 max for him Ajax has one, two, three, four so that's pretty good and now Ajax getting T2 he has completed the gun one harb out we're gonna get another one and then we'll probably see them drop somewhere if he can drop back here kill the pgen he could probably even kill the hq with the, with two harbs i think that would be the ideal drop i think this gunship doing some raiding yeah no one ever grabbed the reclaim here let's see the reclaim fields so we still have this one looks like blast shield got a bit of it a lot here tons down the side this stuff has been here since the start of the game never grabbed i think that's just uh some people not knowing the map two herbs and yeah if this t3 hq it's not finished oh that's that's Ajax's uh, transport getting killed, and now we're going to see Bill Power get killed by these bombers. And this looks really bad for Ajax. Ajax, mm, oh, I thought he. Oh my, what? What stun? I think the bomber stunned. <laughs> the bomber stunned uh, Ajax's inties there, but Ajax still won air. But I don't think it's going to matter because. These herbs are going to win the game, surely. Killing TMD, not too useful. But you can see every NG dead in the base. No opportunity to build any T2, T1PD or anything. And please, please use, yeah, this T3HQ is going to get finished. So it's going to have a lot more HP. But he can probably, s maybe he can still kill it. There's a T2PD. Actually, I missed this, but the T2P gen goes down. He's now aiming at the T2HQ, and then now it has 21k HP, so it's going to be a lot tougher to kill that uh, with a T2PD in range. So he's just going to play safe and go for maxes. Meanwhile, Ajax pushing with basically all of his units up mid. Where are the rest of the herbs? I guess they're coming out quite slowly. There's probably some. I'm not sure why there's PDs here. But, uh. This is actually 25 kills. Epic. Looks like it just raided almost everything here. And Ajax moves in with the commander. Takes out. Uh. The remaining. Herb. And the PD took out the other harp so now we have two harps defending here and I think they're going to be able to defend this seven il Chavo. eight oh look at the mass overflow at least his t3 hq is still alive unfortunately it is idle so yeah that's sad but this is this is this is time that he's buying and actually he's taking away a 
ton of map control as well. Killing T2 mechs here can kill a lot of power here. So Adrix can use this time. He's making more pigeons. He needs he needs to start making autumns though. This support factory is gonna die. P gens are gonna kill some T1 tanks, unfortunately, but that's okay. Hydro is dead. All the P gens dead. Left hand side is <laughs> he still has Mexus. But uh, oh, if he could kill, if he could kill some more power, it would be epic. But Ajax is well back in this game. If Blast Shield had managed to kill this HQ. It would have been really bad. But it's still idle. Come on, Ajax. Oh, the mass waste. What is the mass waste? I don't think he realizes that this is idle at all. There we go. Even even with autumn production, he's wasting mass. Just needs to spam NGs out of all his factories. That's what we can see him doing out of these three factories. And uh, making T2 Mexes because he has 1400 in storage. Now the problem is he has a huge army disadvantage. Well, yeah, it's pretty huge, but the problem is that Blast Shield doesn't actually have shields on his herbs because he doesn't have power. So it's not so bad for him, but he can kill this entire army. He needs to finish this P gen, and then he can kill this entire army. He should just move in and clean it all up, get some vet for his herbs. And this is pretty much all Ajax has right now. He hasn't got any Autumns out, I think. Just the one. So there's still a game to be had, but Ajax did a really good job. He's gotten all this. He has a lot more T2 Mexes. And there's actually not that much reclaim, I guess, on Blast Shield's side. So, hmm, yeah, it looks worse and worse for Blast Chill. The hard drop looks so good, but he just didn't defend the push at all. And now he's not microing his units, but he still should be able to kill everything pretty handily. It's just T1, it's just vet, really. You can just one shot T1 tanks. Oh, wait, two shot? God, I can't even remember. <clears throat> I think it's one shot. Autumn production increases. But uh, he's repairing the land factory, so he basically is paying for it all over again. That's unfortunate. You don't get any discount for repairing. So it's just like he built two pretty much because it was almost dead. A lot of reclaim in Ajax's base, well. Quite a few wrecks. I think it's mostly air units. Like it's probably a few few K there, actually. So Yeah, map control hugely in Ajax's favor. So let's see. We need for Blast Shield to get into this game, we need more harp drops. And that's what he's doing. Dropping a harp here. Just dropping one. Can kill everything. Take back this expansion. He should drop some NGs here. While he's dropping harps and take this. And try search out reclaim fields and take them. There's some nice wrecks, some Ilshi wrecks in mid to be taken. He drops two harps here and he's kind of aiming for these T2 uh, mexes. Now he's he knows that Ajax's ACU is here so he has to be extremely careful. He does not want to get overcharged. It's the best thing to do versus harps is overcharge them. Oh, the Autumn actually drops. The transport dies just a fraction of a second after, after it drops. Well, maybe not that close, but uh, it was pretty close. And this poor guy is overcharged, surely. Yep. And this herb is not in a good position at all. 
it would have been much better to have an, a harp down here just killing all of this. Nice autumn drop though. There goes T2 Max. That's gonna die. Don't see any more upgrading. But uh, that's a good kill on its on its own. You can kill everything here really. Take out the factory, the hydro. And now three herbs sent to deal with it. Two herbs over here. I think they were just dropped. They don't actually have much to kill though. Not really a huge fan of that drop. So the eco advantage definitely for Ajax. Over a hundred mass income now. And Blast Chill just on sixty-two. The reason Blast Chill is still in this is well he did have a bit more eco in the past and also he has more than double the reclaim of Ajax, mostly thanks to this base push that Ajax did, it was ultimately successful. But uh it did give Blast Shield some uh some extra mass. Although I think Blast Shield was doing a better job reclaiming already. These two Autumns take out the two herbs. Oh wait, three Autumns. And immediately manual reclaim orders on those T3 Rex. Great job from Ajax. Over here, a couple of herbs on the plateau. There's only one autumn. Here comes the second though. And Autumns do quite well versus herbs. They do pretty much fine. Uh, these didn't come in at the same time so the herbs managed to kill one first but it doesn't actually matter. The herb is gonna die. And I'm not sure, did they kill T2 Mexes? No, these are T1 Mexes here. So you can see the difference. What is that? It's an ill sheet. I wonder where that Autumn died. Seems like it's dead already. Up here. This Autumn gets caught out. And he's just gonna retreat with these ones. And Ajax has the score lead now. Over here we do finally see a herb dropped to this expansion. Kills everything with ease. Ajax actually has... It's, God, it's so hard to... It's so hard to tell the difference in the colors. It's extremely annoying. But that is Ajax's, surely. It is. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, that's... Not sure how he managed to get that. But... Blast Chill's hiding in the water, he's got T2 Mexes in the water. Pretty good place for T2 Mexes. Same for Ajax. And actually Blast Chill has this one up here. That's kind of funny. Now, Blast Shield has gone for Arties. I think that's pretty good, if they would fire. I mean, why are they not firing? And then they all shoot at the same thing. I mean, that's just... These two guys have actually been killed uh, across several maps. They got overkilled so hard. So, not great from the Serenities. That is a lot of herbs. I think he could... I think he could push this with that many herbs. Let's, let's count the T3. <clears throat> 18. 22 for Ajax, and he has more mass income. The number is only going to grow wider. Let's just make sure. Yeah, actually Blast Shield is catching up Nico. Uh, I think by gaining more map control, regaining this map control. T3 already on this plateau. Excellent idea. MMLs I would love to see as well. Oh my god, there's T2P gen here to kill. So that is already great. These herbs look in some trouble there. Desperately running away. And that's uh, doing a pretty good job. You can see how close they are together uh, compared to the Autumns, which are kind of spread out in the line. So they do really good. And now they can recharge their shield and defend once again. Uh... Okay, shield here. And that it really sucks to lose that TDP gen. I wonder what his eco is like. Yeah, oh wow. That hurt a lot. 
really weird place to find a pigeon. And does Blast Shield have brass or something? No, he has a T3 pigeon. And I mean, that's a, so much power overflow, it's completely wasted, basically. So, not terribly efficient. You should probably just mix in like some mobile shields and stuff to actually use up the up that power. Over here, Ajax doing excellent work with these NGs, reclaiming the dead T3 tanks. Over here, sending some Othams kill whatever it is down here, and it is just one herb that's gonna run all the way to the corner. Try and survive for as long as possible. TML now. That's a good a good choice. Let's see the range. You can probably hit everything on the map with that. Mm, just can't hit some stuff. Mm, excuse me. <clears throat> At the back here, he needs to send some scouts down this way to make sure. Because there, there are a lot of targets actually. We can kill every single Plateau Max. And I don't see TMD. This can die, this, this. There's no more T2 ones, but uh, that would be great already just to kill those. Now T3 Ardies fighting each other. And there goes the shield for the Serenity. Okay, we see that, that looks like a big push in mid. And there's also T3 anti air in here. And oh god, these Ilshis are just asking to die. That's sad. And Ajux has nano. Just first nano. Let's see. It's yeah, it's first nano. Second nano would be too expensive for this stage of the game. And he's just gonna try walk into the base. Overcharge as many herbs as he can and and just basically run over Blast Shield. The Seraphim way. So let's see how successful he is. I think he has more Harbs, more uh, more Autumns. 27. 29, although Blast Shield has a lot more in his base. 16 though. So let's a Nano come overcharging these Harbs. I mean, that's. This is going to be pretty painful. I don't know how he's going to stop it. He's going to need a lot of T2PD. Let's see. I thought he had T2PD here. Okay, he only has two. He should be making more. That's how he's going to be able to stop this issue. If he's going to be able to stop him. It's T2PD. Uh, I don't see any queued up. The Harb's just continuing to retreat because... I mean, they're just going to get overcharged and feed this commander more vet. All production running straight up the middle. This, uh, the attacks over here cut out. The TML is dead. It's also irrelevant. We got a T3 shield as well for this commander, buffing his HP even higher. 10k HP for that, for that shield. And how, how does Blast Shield stop this? Ajax still barely a scratch on him. And he has plenty of power income to just continue. Oh, the target fire from so many herbs, and Ajax is gonna die. Oh my god. Well, to be honest, I did not expect that. But, uh, I should have. The DPS is just too insane. So many herbs. And he just died in like how many seconds? One, two seconds maybe? He just got all the herbs in range at once and rip. Pretty ballsy. Pretty ballsy play from Ajax. And I thought he was gonna do it. But uh He got wrecked. Fucking herbs, dude. <clears throat> GG, well played Blast Shield, epic run in this tourney.
beat some excellent players. Yeah, 22,000 HP. Disappears in a flash. What is it, 300 DPS or something on a harp? Pretty short. Okay, what do we got left in this tournament? We have Blast Chill Oxide on Darkfall. Let's check that out. <laughs> 